pride myself on being very memorable. What are you doing in my bed? What do you think I'm doing in your bed? I mean, I know you're pretty, but you didn't seem that dumb last night. We didn't. <laughs> no. No, you, you just crashed. If that's what they're calling it these days. I don't look so worried. You didn't do anything you didn't want to do. You said you wanted to experiment. Try something new. Get a new perspective. <laughs> I wouldn't be so modest. I saw it all last night. Did... Did we, um... What did we do? Well, you did a lot. You were very eager. I'm memorable, right? We had sex. Yes, we had sex. It's not a big deal. How? But how did it happen? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I know you're new to this, but still. Okay. Well, we met at that pub. We chatted for a bit about everything, really. Life, football, sex. You talked about pussy for a bit, and some girl you're seeing, brunette maybe, started with a J. And then you said, So easy for you gay guys. Guys just wanna fuck. No games, just straight to business. Then you really opened up, I guess. No. I've always been a bit curious what it's like with a guy. Bought us a few more drinks, got a lot more friendly, and brought me back here. I'm sure it'll come back to you. So what? If you're gay, being gay doesn't make you a bad person. Okay. Well, I don't want to outstay my welcome, but if there's breakfast going, I wouldn't mind. I think you should just go. Okay. But if you change your mind, fancy a drink sometime or anything, really. Here's my number. Cheers. It's an unexpected pleasure. Oh, so? Guess you broke up with Jess then. Hey. What? Are you still with Jess? Oh. Yeah. I guess. We're not exclusive as such. Oh. <laughs> I thought you must have broken up or something. Why else would you come to see me, your old fuck buddy? You were pretty intent on one thing when you came through that door. You used to get a drink before you screwed my brains out. Sorry, I just needed a fuck. I am not complaining. Jack isn't exactly what you call an exciting lover. He's always too busy with work or too tired. 
If it was a bit more interesting, you'd think you'd be having an affair. Well, then why would you cheat on this, eh? You're not exactly faithful. Hey, faithful in spirit. Anyway, it's a marriage of convenience. For both of us. Really? Yeah. I get security and a comfy life. And he gets a trophy to parade around and show off. I guess that's all he actually wanted. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Have you... ever kissed a girl? Yeah. Hasn't everyone? Have you had sex with a girl? Yeah, quite a few times. There are things that only a girl can do. No offence. I love cock, and especially yours. But a woman knows what a woman wants. Are you a lesbian? No, I'm not a lesbian. What makes you say that? Fucking a girl doesn't make you a lesbian. I'm bi, if anything. Anyway. What's with all these questions? Just curious. I'll definitely have a threesome with you and Jess if that's what you're after. She seems kind of kinky. I don't think that's her thing. Uh, boring. Anyway, babe. I've got to go. Stay as long as you like. Leave a key under the mat. Don't be a stranger. We should do it again soon. of you all day. I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I had stuff. I don't really want to go into it right now. Come on in. Are you okay? Yeah, I just need to relax. Well, I can certainly sort that out. There's some wine in the fridge. 
and we can watch some movies. I could order us a pizza. You don't have to do anything. You just sit there and let me get you a drink. <laughs> I love this bit. When the boy gets the girl, they live happily ever after. Mm. What's wrong? Nothing. Sorry. <clears throat> what? I can't. It's not what I want. I'm, I'm really sorry, I can't. This isn't what I want. Sorry. Hey, sexy. I didn't think you were gonna text. Come meet me at Q. Tom. Thank you. 